Hello guys, here is a new video in the series of digital control systems and in this video I will talk about zero order hold. As you know in digital control system, the control algorithm is implemented in a digital computer. So we have a lot of elements. We have analog to digital converter we have digital to analog converter to digital con uh, converter the continuous signal is discretized and digital to analog converter the discretized signal is transferred to piecewise continuous signal as we saw in the previous video for the zero order hold as ZOH it maintains it maintains the signal throughout the sampling period t to get a discretized signal what is the model of zero order hold it is given in this transfer function we have 1 over s minus exponential minus st over s where t is the sampling period so we have this transfer function let us take an example to see how to use this this in practice so here is a small example we want to discretize so using a sample sampling time t the following system we have this transfer function it is a second order a second order transfer function so here we have h of s and here we have the transfer function of zero order hold and we want to find the equivalent in discrete time or the equivalent discrete time transfer function. So here we have the multiplication of the two blocks, the transfer function of the zero order hold and the transfer function of the system. I will develop everything. So hence we will use the Z transform on this equation. So it is given by this expression. So we can use the tables to find the Z transform all of all these elements. So uh, we have the Z transform of 1 over S square, 1 over S, and 1 over S plus 1. So as a result, we, you will get this transfer function in function of the sampling period and the Z variable. So let us take T equal 1. So we will get this the following transfer function so let us apply this in MATLAB we will define the continuous system using TF as you see here we I will put the sampling period T equal 1 and then I will use C2D which converts the model from continuous time to discrete time and I will use the method zero order hold Z O H I want to verify what I get manually so I will create system D2 I will write what I have developed before here I'm using convolution to make the product of two polynomials and I will put the sampling period T and as you see we get the same result thank you for watching for more information, please see the description. Bye-bye.